I, I love the examples that you're using from from boxing in terms of um, uh, their conditioning program. Uh, if you if you look at the history of boxing, all of those boxers you mentioned grew up in a generation where the most important part of modern boxing was completely absent. The most important part of modern boxing training is pad work. Ooh. When did they start pad work? I believe it was the early 1980s. Wow. So people like Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray Robinson, never trained on pads. Isn't that crazy Didn't even to know think what of? they were. So many of the greatest boxers of all time, Willie Pep, none of them trained on pads. You're blowing my mind because I never thought of that before. Mm. I literally never thought of that. Isn't that fascinating? That's so fascinating. And yet now, the majority of, of boxing training is done on the pads. Like, it's, a, it's a, literally a revolution in boxing training. And you've got to ask yourself, what was the difference? What did they do back then? And you see there was probably a lot more emphasis on sparring. Mm. That sparring was the... And heavy back the, the work. focus. Yeah. That's crazy. I wonder who's the first guy to figure out pads. It's a fascinating question. I've, oh. never, I've never seen a definitive answer to it. I literally never thought that until today, until right now. Yeah. Like, when and was the, the first And the other big question you've got to ask yourself is, were Western boxers the first people to use pads, or was Thailand before them? Because they used their own version of pads for kicks. Yeah. Did the Thais come first with kick pads, or did the Western boxing coaches come first with hand pads? So these are both interesting questions, and I don't know the answer to either. It's a very good question. It's interesting how the ties sort of devised this strategy of training. It's a different strategy of training. Yes. You know, like they're they're all about like the idea of training tie without pads is like it's alien. Yeah, yeah. And I think the idea of training boxing in 2020 without pads is also alien. Yeah. Well, you know, Julio Cesar Chavez never hit the speed bag. There's a, there's a funny video of him uh, trying to hit the speed bag and he doesn't know how to do it. And this was when he was the best in the world. You imagine some guy looking at him and going, man, that guy sucks. Look at him, <laughs> <laughs> look at him on the speed bag. But he, he doesn't was, know what he's doing. He was laughing about it. He was going like, ha, <laughs> yeah. like. I mean, when you think about it, what actual relationship between boxing, punching as done in a fight and speed bag is there? None. And yet? And yet, it's a and thing. yet, guys do that all day, every day. Like, who punches anybody yeah. like this ever? Uh, it's so strange. It's yeah. such a strange how, way. To... How, how did that become an institution? We're weird. Didn't someone say, like, hey, coach, I've never hit anyone like that in my life. Why are you making me do this? Yeah. I just look at all that's Rocky. all Rocky does in the thing. He only hits that and meat. And the rest of it, he's not doing anything. Doesn't he's he? Just, hit a, he doesn't hit a heavy bag. He's just mom, meat in the meat locker, and then he's doing push-ups and running. That's and it. And sit-ups. Yeah. yeah the meat thing terrible technique Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny <laughs> go back watch those old movies you're like hey you straighten that up man yeah. 